evolution of thunder and surprisingly this has given the birth this has given birth to some ridiculous theories and fanboys photoshop pictures here at PFACES we try our best to provide you with authentic information and here's what we know so far about the GF17 Block 3. Now, let's get something out of the way first. We know that a lot of fans and followers of PF will be disappointed but this, this and even this, it's all <laughs> fake. Again, these are not official photos or renders of GF17 Block 3. We don't even know where these came from but it has spread like a wildfire. Keep in mind that Block 3 will be an evolution or upgrade of the same thunder that we will know as the Pride of Pakistan. Take this for an example, for decades Lockheed Martin US have been producing F-16 Fighting Falcon from its earliest blocks to the latest blocks 7072. How much change is the airframe received? Not talking about what's inside but airframe wise, not very much. It still looks like and can be easily identified as F-16, so don't accept any radical changes on Block 3 to a level where we have heard people call it Jeff 18 Now, according to the available information and what the officials have hinted on various mm -hmm. air shows, interviews, and exhibitions, here's what we know. Here's what we know as of uploading this video. Now, I would like to ask uh, Adam and Viper, like what he can tell us about the changes of block 3 thunder uh, well admin uh, maverick thank you for uh, introduction and inviting me uh, to this uh, discussion about the gs upcoming uh, gs 17 block 3 here um, but as you say that according to the available information that have been given on various forums um, including the air shows and um, various uh, official interviews and exhibition if you talk about the structural changes, then uh, the GS-17 Block 3 will probably have a new tail design like GS-17B, also known as Thunder Bravo or simply Bravo. To enhance its maneuverability, uh, this will be the first version to incorporate a uh, 3-axis fly-by-wire system and if I'm not mistaken, uh, I'm sorry about that, actually the GS-17 Bravo also uh, has the 3-axis uh, fly-by-wire system, so the Block 3 will also have the 3-axis fly-by-wire system. And uh, to keep the airframe as light as possible and reducing the radar cross-section, which is also known as RCS for short, more composites will be used in the construction of Block 3, thus creating more payload capacity with multiple missile launchers as well. This way, the Block 3 Thunder will be able to carry more ordnance and with an increased fuel capacity, its range will be uh, increased as well. Like the F-16 Block 52 Plus version, uh, operational with PEF, the Block 3 will have a powerful built-in EW suit. This not only frees up a hard point, but reduces the RCS even further, hence making it more stealthy. Um, now let's talk about what will make JF-17 Block 3 a true game changer in the South Asian region. The Block 3 Thunder uh, will be PEF's first fighter aircraft to be equipped with an AESA radar, known as KLJ-7A. This will greatly enhance Thunder's detecting and jamming range and um, will also enable it to use the deadly PL-15 missile which is an active radar guided very long range air to air missile. It's a kind of a BVR missile uh, with extended range more than MRAM and even Meteor. Uh, now if you talk about Meteor uh, which, by the way, is still not confirmed to be part of uh, delivery to IAF uh, with its Rafale deal. Um, that's actually a story for an another video. Uh, there are some reports that some PF GF-17 are already equipped with PL-15 and some airframes might also be using KLJ-7A. But that is most likely to be as test beds before introducing it on Block 3. However, it's not far-fetched to think that PF will also upgrade its entire GF-17 fleet to Block 3 standards. But uh, it's the same just like what they did uh, with their F-16 fleet. So in theory, PF will be in possession on hundreds of fighter aircraft with AESA radars and very long range missiles. After all this, if the enemy still gets within visual range of Block 3, then they, uh, they will have another surprise. GF-17 Block 3 pilots will be equipped with the same helmet mounted sight or HMD 
which are operational on both J-20 and J-10C Chinese frontline fighters. These will be coupled with 5th generation TVC high off boreside missiles making J-17 Block 3 a deadly adversary to any modern fighter this world has to offer. Now, um, uh, th these are the official uh, available information so far uh, we have on this set topic. And again, thank you very much, Admin Maverick, for inviting me and actually.